Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Taylor and I have a makeup tutorial on this look right here for you guys. If you enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And other than that, we're just gonna jump right on into the video. Bye guys. So the very first thing that you guys wanna make sure that you do is you wanna start out with a clean face. Like any artist, when they start a new project, they pull out a clean, fresh, blank canvas or a sheet of paper. The same concept applies to your face. So you wanna make sure that it's clean because you don't wanna add more product and makeup onto a dirty face. This will cause clogged pores and acne. So make sure you start off with a clean face. That's super important. Um, the next thing that you guys wanna make sure you do is to moisturize. Okay, so the moisturizer that I am super in love with at the moment is the Garnier Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. I really, really like this stuff. It has a gel-like con consistency, hence the name, gel cream, and it soaks really nicely into your skin. Um, you really don't need a lot of this stuff. A little of it goes a long way, so be sparing with your application of this stuff. Um, also, it's kind of reminiscent to the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, if you guys have tried that. This is at a much more affordable price point though. It's like six or seven dollars compared to the 20 or the 20 bucks that the Neutrogena one is. If you guys haven't tried this one, you guys should definitely pick this one up. It's super good. Um, but I've already applied that on my face already, so we're actually gonna go ahead and jump into priming the face. Uh, so the first thing or, that you guys um, wanna do, or at least the first thing that I like to do, is I like to use a primer. The one that I really like at the moment is the Poreless Face Primer by e.l.f. This one is super, super good. Um, I really like it. If you guys haven't tried it, you definitely should, because this is only $6, and this is for the small bottle. The bigger bottle is only 10 and I actually have noticed quite a difference with this stuff. Um, I would say that it's my holy grail. Honestly, it's such a great and affordable primer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple pumps on my cute ass marble beauty blender that I have right here, but I'm just going to do one, two, two pumps. Two pumps is good. I'm going to do two pumps on my beauty blender. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that all over the face. So now that the face is primed, we're gonna jump onto the eyes and make sure that our eyes are also primed. So the primer that I'll be using today is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. I really like this stuff. Um, I actually see a difference compared to when I don't use it and when I do. I feel like it actually helps keep my eyeshadow lasting throughout the day. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna just drop a little bit onto here. Um, I really like this stuff because you really don't need a lot. Like you really don't. Like a little dollop like that is like perfect. That actually might be a little too much. I'm gonna just take that and I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. Just do a little dollop on each eye. My right eye got a little greedy so I gotta even that out a little bit. And then just blend it out with my beauty blender. I'm gonna make sure that it goes all the way up to the brow, down to the lash line. Everywhere that I'm gonna be putting shadow, I wanna make sure that it is primed. Perfect. So I'm actually going to zoom you guys in so we can get an up close look of our eyeshadow that we're gonna be doing today. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we're gonna start on the eyeshadow. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into the white chocolate chip palette with a fluffy brush. I'm gonna dip it into the color glaze and we're going to be super generous with this color and just set our primer with it. So now we're gonna take a blending brush and we're gonna dip it into the color cake batter from the white chocolate chip palette and we're going to place this in our crease. We're gonna concentrate the color mostly in the outer crease but making sure to completely blend this out. We don't want any harsh lines. This will be one of the two transition colors that we will be using in this eye look today. So now on the same blending brush, we're going to pick up the color Burnt Orange from the Modern Renaissance palette and we're going to place this in our crease. This is going to be our main transition color, so we're going to take it through the entire crease instead of concentrating it on the outer crease. So 
So now on a pencil brush, we're gonna take the color red ochre and we're going to place it into our crease like in the eye socket. Um, we're pretty much going to be creating a cut crease, but it's not going to be so harsh. We're going to kind of blend that line out, but we still want to make sure that there is a defined line from the transition color to the red ochre color. small shadow brush and dip it in the color honey pot from the natural love palette um, we're going to get a lot of product on this brush and spritz it a few times with the setting spray the setting spray i'm going to be using today is the mario badesco setting spray it's his new one the lavender one I absolutely adore this setting spray it smells amazing and we're just gonna place this in the inner corner of our lid and blend it out to the middle of the lid blending it into the color vulgar to just finish off the rest of the face so the first thing that I like to do when I'm doing my face makeup is I like to jump into some color correctors and kind of correct my dark circles that I have the color correctors that I'm gonna be using today are these two um, these are by Cher Moya the pink one is for dark circles and the yellow one is for dullness so this is going to brighten everything up so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to start with the one for dark circles okay so my dark circles are the worst on the inner corner of my eye so I'm just gonna take my color corrector and I'm gonna focus it right there but I'm also going to swipe it outwards just like that and I'm just gonna do that on the other eye I'm just going to focus it where it is the worst and then swipe it out now I'm just gonna take a beauty blender and just blend it out So now we're going to jump into the brightness one. I'm pretty much going to do the same thing. I'm going to concentrate it in the inner corner of my eye and then just swipe it outwards. I might put a little bit on my nose and in all the places that I would normally put my concealer just to kind of brighten those areas up and draw more light to the face. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to jump into our foundation. The foundation I'm going to be using today is the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I know I'm super late to the party on this one, but this stuff, if you guys have not tried it yet, you should definitely pick it up. It is amazing. Um, before, I only really used um, drugstore foundations just because, I mean, who has money to be spending on $30, $40 foundations, you know, when you can get it on Walmart for like 8 bucks? But I know why people dish out that kind of money for a high-end foundation because it is amazing so if you're like me and you guys tend to penny pinch and try to get the cheaper stuff because you don't want to shell out that money girl let me tell you that this foundation has definitely changed my view on the higher end foundations the stuff is really really good um, I tried it yesterday without a primer just to kind of see what it would look like on bare skin and oh my gosh you could barely see my pores like at all it was perfect it just was amazing amazing I don't think I could ever go back to drugstore foundation like I don't think I could but um, 
you guys should definitely try this stuff if you haven't already again i know everyone and their mother probably has this already and probably has already like talked about it but i'm telling you from my own personal experience of never buying a high-end foundation this stuff is to die for to die for so i'm going to take a couple pumps one two three where the magic happens. Okay, so now I'm going to jump into concealer and you know, you know the drill, brighten everything up, that kind of thing. So I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer today in the shade medium. And we're just going to like put it in all the places that you would normally put concealer. My eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set my face. I'm going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Transition Powder. This stuff is amazing. If you guys have not tried it, you definitely should. Um, it's like $3. It's like, it's perfect. Set my entire face. So now we're going to jump into contour. I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate So contour this was actually from the La Belle carousel um holiday collection from like four years ago or something crazy but like i just like hit pan on this shit so i'm gonna use it up you know Now we're going to jump onto blush. The blush that I'm going to be using today is the Mosaic Powder Brush in the color Silk by NYX. Really, really like this stuff. So I'm going to take this really like fluffy, this fluffy um, blush brush. And I'm just going to swirl it in all those colors. If I don't drop it, oh my gosh. Tap up the excess. And we're going to apply it to our cheek, cheeks, just like so. Now we're going to jump into the highlight and we're going to be using the Nicole Guerrero. I hope I said her name right. I really hope. I feel bad if I did it. Um, but um, we're going to jump into her um, collab with Anastasia and we're going to use the color Glow Getter. Um, I really like this color. I'm going to take this brush from the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself um, brush set and I'm just going to dip it into Glow Getter. 
throw my hair out of the way and place it right on the cheekbones. Perfect. Okay, so now that the face is pretty much done, we're going to jump right back into the eyes, um, finish those off. So right here I'm taking a liner brush and I dipped it into the color Honey Pot and we're basically going to create a winged liner with this color. Um, but as you can see here, I'm not bringing it all the way down on my lash line. I'm actually going slightly above it and creating kind of a, a double wing, if that makes sense. But you want to make sure, and this is extremely important, that you spritz your brush with um, some kind of setting spray. This will make it easier to create that winged liner, as you can see here. Then, of course, I repeat the same process on the other eye. So now we're going to take that same liner brush and we're going to clean it off a little bit and pick up the color Love Letter from the Modern Renaissance palette. And we're going to pretty much clean up that wing liner that we created with honey pot we're going to go underneath that liner and create i guess a another wing with the love letter color so now on a pencil brush we're going to dip it into the colors cake batter and burnt orange and we're going to blend it on the lower lash line So on the same pencil brush, we're going to dip it in the colors Venetian Red and Love Letter and we're going to blend it on the outer corner of our lower lash line. So now I'm going to take this black eyeliner from Rummel. it's from their Scandalized collection, and I'm going to line my upper waterline and the outer corner of my lower waterline. So now we're going to take that little liner brush with the color Honey Pot on it and we're going to place this color in the inner corner and we're going to bring it down onto our lower lash line as you can see here. Um, this is going to brighten up the eye so the eye is not as closed off. So now my lashes and my mascara is on. The last thing that we have to do is the lips. And the lip color that we're going to be using today is this one by Maybelline. It is from their the elixir collection I guess and it's in the color captivizing carnation I think yes captivizing carnation and um, I'm just going to pop that on the lips okay so this is the final look for you guys I hope you really enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a thumbs up I would really appreciate it as well as subscribe if you haven't already um, that way you won't miss future videos of mine um, I'll be posting every week um, but yeah other than that I'll see you guys in the next one Bye.